Welcome back to Educator.com. This lesson is on motion. Distance is a measure of an object's movement. So distance measures the total distance So, if someone went out for a walk, and was a short, let's say, well, let's take a longer walk. Let's say this will be two kilometers, and this is three kilometers. This is actually a very long walk, and we have two more kilometers. Okay? So, to find the total distance, all you need to add is two plus three plus two. So, this person walked seven kilometers. That's the total distance of the trip. If we were to define, if we were to find the displacement of that trip, what you need to look for is um, displacement measures the distance from the start point of the trip to the end point of the trip. Okay, so for our first walk, the start point is right here before they started walking the two kilometers to the east, it might look like. And then they walked three kilometers south, and then they walked two kilometers uh, east again. And then this is the end point. So for distance, you cover the whole trip. For displacement, it's simply a straight line as straight as I can draw right here. It's simply a straight line from the start point to the end point, and that distance is the displacement, how far they had displaced from their original spot. So whatever that distance is, is your displacement. Let's take a look at the walk below. If this is our start point, and this is the end point, let's say they're directly across from one another. So the displacement's going to be just this distance across. Okay, but we don't know that distance yet. Let's take a look. Um, in this case, we'll do a, a quick a quick little trip um, for a turtle. So the turtle walks five meters south and then five meters east and five meters north. So the total distance that turtle has traveled is 15 meters. However, the displacement from the start to the finish, the end point, you draw that straight line across, that displacement will be 5 meters. We're assuming this turtle walked in a perfect square, went 5, 5, 5, so that last one across has to also be a 5. 5 meters. Now what displacement, what you have to add, you have to add a direction. So you're telling where they've moved from the start point. So if it's from the start to the right there, we'll say that that's going to be to the east. So 5 meters east is the displacement of that turtle on the walk. Let's try one more. Say this is our start point in blue here. And you leave you walk around, you drive on this curvy path, and you return back to the same point. Okay, let's say you return back to this same point. So the start point and the end point are the same. Well, the distance is whatever you traveled along this windy road, whatever that distance may be. Maybe the distance is uh, 50 kilometers, nice long drive. However, your displacement, since you started and ended in the same spot, your displacement is zero. And it was kilometers. Zero kilometers, no direction, because you started and ended in the same point. You haven't actually been displaced. You ended up where you started. Whereas where that turtle was walking from the start to the end, it did end up in a different spot. So you were able to measure the displacement, and of course, Give your displacement a direction. You need to include a direction in the label for displacement. 